the following day, I wouldn't mind them being released. But then I thought it was really a very bad thing to destroy. Environmental uh, related uh, information is lacking from our people. Environmental justice is not there. Human rights issues are so many. I think when you look at the social justice, we have lost many people in a, just a space of two, one week. In the hands of the, the of people who should have really protected us. And, and, and that is so heartbreaking. Back on environment, I'm happy that team is really moving forward to ensure that there's a, a space for environmental justice. But I would think that our people need a lot of awareness. Awareness creation is very key. We need a lot of uh, conversation with them. They should know their rights. Although when we interact with them, people think that uh, destroying the environment would, end, would elevate their poverty, which is very wrong. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, please. I think it's very wrong for people to think that destroying the environment can elevate their property. So my thinking when I, I interacted with the people, I think first of all, the influx of people coming to buy land cheaply in a beam. They're Ugandans, they have a right, we have a right to buy land anywhere. But what do you do with this land and how do you acquire it? People are being exploited and the the uh, and and uh, out of their ignorance and to me what i analyze is that people think that this land they are selling cheaply is still there and that is why i'm i'm calling for a lot of uh, awareness creation and then because they think the land is still theirs they think that because these people are just coming they are not the natives at some point, they'll go back to where they come from and the land remains. And I think that is one key issue that I wanted people to be uh, to, 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 to be made aware that once you have sold land, you have sold it. It is no longer yours. Then the felling of trees to, 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 to promote uh, charcoal uh, business. I think we need to come in full force, not just as activists. The youth should be given space to, 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 to discuss, and maybe there would be people who can help us to advocate for their advocacy, to, to, to teach the, the communities about the, the effect of cutting trees, selling charcoal because Donald, you'll agree with me and your colleagues that what is happening in a beam is really bad. Imagine the proprietor, the, 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 the what, perpetrators of charcoal business are people who should defend the environment. Are people who should let people know that environment is important for us to conserve if we are supposed to to enjoy our environment. If the generation to come after us should appreciate our environment, then we need to preserve the environment. I think much as our colleagues from West Nile have not said that, this thing is cross-cutting, but I was in West Nile for some time. I used to do some work in West Nile during holidays, but what I learned from some part of West Nile is that you cut a tree, you fell a tree for charcoal, you plant five or two or three. 
that would also be would make a difference. So I would suggest that uh, this uh, engagement should just not end with the number of people here. People find time and go to a beam, rescue a beam. A beam is gone. A beam is finished. And there's no space for justice where people can freely. Donald was really attacked recently, seriously. I think he, has, he was threatened, if I'm not mistaken. I was reading from a forum where we are in, and I felt that it was really unfair for the way people treated this submission in environmental protection. I beg to stop here, and I want to thank you again, and really I'm very happy for this engagement, and uh, I would continue really getting involved where possible. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Rose Akulu, for the beautiful submission. Um, you see, when, when we come together like this to speak up for a common cause, even our, our, um, our perpetrators, those who you know, infringe on our voices, they get threatened. So let's continue with the advocacy so that we can always have um, uh, uh, our environment protected. Let us hear from Boniface Ojas, is the Executive Director, Karamoja Co Green. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Charles. Uh, I'm really very happy that we are having this kind of conversation. Uh, I would like to thank our our guest speaker, Williams and Kerima. Your submissions were wonderful. We, we really learned a lot uh, from your submission. Um, a wise man once said that you, a wise person learns from the experiences of others. And from there, it, it doesn't wait for those things to do to 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 to, to happen on him before he also learn. Uh, we, we we have learned so much from your experiences and we can continue to learn as we join in this activism. Uh, uh, I really want to submit something very small on uh, as we work on defending our civic space. Uh, I, I want us to look at the justice system uh, as we advocate for environmental justice uh, do we really have the justice system in place uh, if if you look at o o the reason why our civic space is shrinking uh, you you see that there are some things that drives the shrinking of the civic space uh, if we look at the reason why our environment, our environment is deteriorating rapidly, uh, we, we see that we really have things driving. Uh, if we look at the reason why the, 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 the destruction of uh, environment in a beam is escalating like wildfire, you, you, you realize that one of the drivers is poverty. People really are poor. The, the, nearly 100% of people in Karamoja live below poverty line. You realize that people are moving in almost all directions looking for how to survive. This makes them vulnerable to be used by political leaders or people with self-interest. Uh, a case in point is this one here, people get licenses or people put pressure on political leaders until they succumb to offering them licenses to destroy the environment. A case in point is a place in Cameroon. Uh, we went there to do some baseline study. We realized that people had really put on pre put pressure on these political leaders until they have to offer them operating licenses. 
Uh, the, 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 as we go on uh, advocating for uh, defending our civic space and also defending our environment, we need to also advocate for poverty eradication. We need to teach people, need to teach them financial literacy. The little resources they have should be used to get more resources that will help better them. Uh, the pressure on the environment can only lower when we elevate poverty, when we eradicate poverty. And this, if people have reached a certain level of income, that can give them a certain ability to operate without putting the pressure on the environment. We realize that our work as environmental defenders will also become easier. Uh, as we go on advocating for environmental protection, we have to advocate for poverty eradication. That is my point number one. Uh, as we look on the drivers of environmental destruction in Uganda, in Abim, uh, in Karamoja, we realize that the lack of alternative source of livelihood nearly all the agricultural practices in the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa, the whole of East Africa, all the whole of Uganda have failed. Agriculture failed greatly. You realize that people don't have anything else to do. They have to run and look around. How do we have to survive? And the environment become a place to, to look for survival. In the end, uh, it will end up the, being destroyed. Uh, you find that livestock stuff in Karamoja has greatly affected the livelihood of people, especially in Abim. For us, we don't go to steal cattle or to steal livestock, but they steal our livestock. You realize that the locals as reach a level where the number of livestock they depend on, like for milk, if you sell milk somewhere, you get income. The, 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 the number of livestock where you sell meat and you get some income has reduced because of rampant theft, uh, cattle rustling in Karamoja. This has pushed people to a point of looking for another alternative way of surviving. And the environment becomes the only option where you go cut some trees for charcoal. You cut some trees so that you can sell alongside the road. Uh, another driver, if you look at, it is a market. The market for environmental products are almost everywhere. You realize that a charcoal is bought from Karamoja here at 25, at most 25,000. But the market in Bali or in Kampala, almost triples the amount. So those people see it as an opportunity to come and fuel the charcoal burning in the area. You, if you look at the people who are really doing the commercial charcoal burning in Karamoja, you realize that most or 98% or of the people who are doing this business here are not the locals. You come to realize that it's the, the either the people from the, 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 the Eastern side, the Bagishu or the Baganda, uh, or the bosses of the business are those people. You realize that the presence of the market alone has excavated the problem. Uh, we need, uh, if, if possible, the government should lower electricity tariff in the in the electricity, electricity accessible at affordable rate to almost everyone to break the market for charcoal, firewood, and other environmental products. Uh, if we look at again another drivers, we, we realize there is no alternative source of energy 
for cooking. People go to cut the trees. People will always go to make charcoal because they don't have another source of energy for cooking, for burning bricks, and the electricity tariff is, is too high in urban areas. The drivers of this environmental destruction in Karamoja region is mostly the, the, the market of these things in the urban areas. Uh, we would advocate to the government lowering electricity tariff or making the electricity accessible to everyone. We have water bodies, like Victoria generates a lot of water for, for its tributaries, uh, the, the, the river Niles, the other, uh, other, other, other rivers. We realize that we generate a lot of electricity to the extent that we transport it to Kenya. We transport it to, we, we, we export it to Kenya. We export it to Sudan. Why don't the government first satisfy the needs of the local people? This electricity, if we would, if we are to have a good government, this electricity would be almost free. We would all only pay service fee, because we have all the resources. So you you realize that lack of alternative source of energy is also a problem. We need to advocate for the government to provide us with electricity at the lowest rate possible. If we could cut it to uh, providing only the service fee for maintaining the lines would be very fine. Uh, you realize also one of the drivers of environmental destruction is the failures of law enforcement. Uh, you realize that people are ignorant of the law that governs the environment to the extent that you even find the ignorance among the law enforcers. They don't really understand that if they do this to the environment, it is breaking the law. Uh, we need to also advocate toward uh, uh, rolling uh, toward mass sensitization of the law on the existing laws that affects them. And we need to all these law enforcers accountable. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the drivers of lack of uh, failures of law enforcement would also be combated if we look toward advocating for arresting the corrupt officials and penalizing them. We need to follow up these people. We need to say, hey, it, uh, we, we heard that these officials were doing this kind of alliances in the, our area. We know it is illegal. And we have to follow up, follow after these people until we find out that justice is taken. If we fail at the local level, at the district level, we go to the high court. If we fail at the high court, we go to the East African court or the if possible, if we can come together and work together, we would go toward even the, the AU. Who doesn't know? The AU is again an environmental destruction. We would even go yes, up to the UN. Hello? Be summarizing. Uh, I, I, I was work, uh, trying to work on the drivers and how best we can. Uh, uh, advocate that we uh, realize that one of the drivers is that we our value system as human has broken down. We don't value what we we have or what we find in place. You realize that a person would want, would would rather build a house instead of uh, would would cut trees establish in a place to build a house instead of protecting those trees and if possible, putting a house next to you. Uh, I really want to say that we have to sensitize people 
as we look, as we ad advocate for our shrinking space, we have to work toward sensitizing people. Let them know these things. Because some, the, the, the problem is people don't know that if I destroy this environment, it is a problem. The ignorance and the dangers of environmental degradation and the information gap is too high. We need to work to advocate toward that. And we, if we fail as an individual, we need to work together. Because we will not always work. Thank you so much. That is my submission. Wow. Thank you very much, Boniface. Uh, Boniface is the uh, an environmentalist and the executive director Karamoja Go Green. Thank you so much for walking the journey with us for defending the uh, environment and our civic space. Let's continue to document and report as much as possible every form of uh, abuses or violations against human rights defenders and against our environment. Without such documentation, we will not have a basis for advocacy. So uh, let us welcome any other person. I see time is not our best ally, so we can see how to wrap this up and we call it uh, a day. Any other person? Raise up your hand and unmute. Then you submit. Otherwise, Boniface highlighted very, very fundamental issues that we should uh, look into as environmental defenders everywhere. Um, to you know, bring an end to some of these unfortunate uh, injustices against env the environment. Uh, we can also uh, design climate smart agriculture. You know, it's also a strategy for protecting our environment. We can introduce things like briquettes, making briquettes for um, as an energy. Uh, oh yes, Mustafa is uh, answers up. Hello. Yes, uh, yes, uh, I'm sorry. I think our network had a problem. I finish my thing, but anyway, uh, Boniface has put some issues here, and uh, I got very much touched to it. So, I was actually on the I think, uh, uh, I is uh. Uh, just the continuous call for us to be together. And uh, just like uh, my sister Kulu said, I caught up with her again. We, we really, really now need to leave the situation of our seat in our offices. And uh, I must just tell you that uh, uh, Mr. William and I, these days, uh, we, I come to his home, he comes to my, to my home in the, in the in our places of, of think we should not just do this between ourselves too. I think we must spread it all, all over. And uh, the more voices we, we take, for example, if uh, William and I come to Abima and uh, we say, you people, what you're doing is not okay. If we had wanted to go and meet the MC5, I think it was this, uh, look at these homeboys who are making noise. I think uh, it's, it's high time now we, we, we come out because uh, uh, some of the drivers have always been there, but people close their eyes on it. And uh, to be honest, if, if we don't now step up higher, we, we still see this environment getting lost because uh, I always sob when I see a Tory land, a, a land that used to be very well covered with vegetation and especially with our indigenous species now going down. And now South Sudan is, is a cry. And for your information, I was supposed to be based in South Sudan actually last year, but because of the insecurity there, that's when I was advised not to go that side. But occasionally I, I get inside South Sudan to see especially how the sheer nut is getting uh, straight from that side. Despite the fact that uh, in South Sudan, if you are found destroying the sheer nut, uh, your, your, your punishment is heavier and it is done by the cultural uh, leadership. But of course, with the insecurity and these other things now, 
the whole situation has become a, a different thing. So I think uh, I'm even happy that on, on the platform today we have a uh, committed stronger. It is high time we now have a common office, I will call it a common office. The problem in a beam, uh, Charles leads it and it will only call Charles from a beam as, as a coordinator. William. Yes, Mustafa, it seems your network is not very stable. Let's hear from Monday, David. Uh, do you have anything else to say with you? information uh, when i toured uh, southwestern uganda this guy still have rest hello yes yes um master fight it seems your network is poor and we were not really clicking anything let's hear from monday david is an was up then we get back to you thank you time is not our best ally we are left with a few minutes to the end of the discussion uh, thank you so much, Charles, for giving me this uh, crazy opportunity. I wish to uh, commend that the discussion has been very, very fruitful. Yes, I was a little bit engaged attending to some patient, but be sure my headsets were capturing everything. Thank you, uh, Mustafa. Thank you, uh, William. And thank you, uh, all the colleagues who are able to submit. Monday David is my name. I am the chairperson for young people in Queen District, but I also run Survey Environmental Movement Alliance as a sub-regional coordinator, working together with Treetop Plus and VI Agroforest. And we are trying to scale down the FMNR uh, approach in terms of conservation here in Cerveza region. I'm also a promoter of tourism. Uh, to be honest, I'm a tour guide, but I run, I, I run a tour company that is called the Robot Train. Uh, this is what I am doing. Number one, whenever I hike around with the clients, these are tourists. Uh, first, in my home area, the bedded community, who were the historical and indigenous inhabitants of Mount Elgon. Since time immemorial, government allocated over 8,500 hectares of land, which was full of indigenous tree species, Prunus africana, uh, Potocapas, Absinica, Schiaferia, and so on. As I speak, all the 8,500 hectares of land has been cleared down completely. And now the community is not about to think to replace the indigenous tree species. Though a few of them are going in for uh, a collapsed tree species, uh, pinus, and what a few, uh, forest croton, or croton microcalyx, a few. But then the aspect of uh, maintaining the indigenous tree species is completely missing. So what we do to tourists, Every client who comes pays a fee in terms of landing a tree in that same community. Part of what I earn as a tour guide from my company and from my daily hiking when I have clients, I have separated 20% to really enhance the environmental conservation in the community. Well, in the lower side of Sabesa region, Capture Rock, Queen, Bukwa, talk of Amu, that now in Karamoja sub region. I agree, Chaco burning is really at a very escalating rate to the extent that uh, people are running out of trees to burn Chaco. And these are indigenous tree species that takes a lot of time to really mature to some age. Nobody is thinking to replant them. Uh, I think Mustafa and the team here we need to launch a very radical campaign. Like you said, the natural resource officer in Kapchorwa, I guess must be our Chemange. I really was so optimistic and still warns you. I'm asking you kindly, 
if you don't come and share your knowledge and share your experience, and we engage those of Joshua James to do environmental protection run with the district stakeholders. Uh, I think Mount Elgon forest, the remaining forest, might be depleted. In a, on a very sad note, yes, it is true. Like other Tanzania, even as we still depend on Mount Elgon forest for resources, firewood, a few things. Every Wednesday, Saturdays, and Sunday, UWA allows women to access such resources. But it is beyond that. When they go, they fall down these huge big trees, a tree that could have even uh, grown for the last 600 years, last five centuries, four centuries, is just fallen down in two hours. UWA is not doing enough job in Mount Helgo. So if we don't wake up now, uh, because already the effects of climate change is pinching us, we are facing it roughly, all the crops of second season that we planted, we are not hoping for the best. Because drought that wasn't there, it has started as a last September. I'm saying it's time to take action as young people, as a civil society organization, as the men, as the women of all categories in this country. Government, government will mess up. We've seen government messing up, very beautiful forests, grabbing, there are so many other interests doing this and that and that and that. But it's us, it's, it is our own. I mean, civic space, I am I, I I might speak. I I I I hate so many things in the government. I don't like the way the system is running, well people are oppressed, but let me reserve that for another day. My focus is on environment. I'm a, a peary farmer, and whenever I do that, there are always some free species. I'm trying to think and really leave a legacy in my community, even when I die and I have planted a couple of trees, an individual, but that's a community through collective efforts, it can be a long lasting legacy. Thank you so, so much, Charles, for really giving us this opportunity. I stand guided, but also look forward for more uh, fruitful and productive engagements with action, if possible. I, I am learning, we could also, really be submitting some of the reports to the evidence of what we do. David Monday is my name, when district in the Sabesa region. Thank you. Thank you so much, David. I can't wait to to uh, uh, a CP Falls. <laughs> um, thank, thank you, you so much for the great work you're doing there. You know, it is the small thing that we do which really concern which we will really help us protect uh, ecosystem which will help us you know promote and um, climate uh, justice in our communities let us not give up let us even if you don't get a penny you know your work will definitely at one point pay so do your work diligently and let us never be you know Let's not bow down to the effects or to, to the derailing voices that come from uh, people who feel they have already made it and they really can they can do anything to you know destroy our environment. We are working this for a just uh, environment. I mean for a sustainable environment. We are doing this you know uh, for our future generation. Yeah. So if we don't do it, who will do it for us? It is, it is the youth power now which really which um, the youth power now that um, when put together will help us have uh, uh, um, uh, good structures and you know uh, uh, the nation we want so um, in anything that you do just know that environment is a blueprint i mean uh, climate uh, justice is a blueprint for the next generation and we should uphold it by all means possible yeah if we don't 
we if uh, someone once said if you in the previous conversation that will we wait for the environment to cry or are we going to cry with the environment together so be the voice in that community you live in and speak up we will always have your back whenever you're in problems we will always have your back um, i also want uh, i want us to really wrap this up because i see we are left with only seven minutes and um, we have some other engagements i trust that uh, we want to embark on doing but i want to take this opportunity to thank our dear panelist mr manzuru william leslie friends of zoka and tamali Robina Auma of Solidarity Uganda, Mr. Mustafa Garima, of our star environmentalist. We having you on this platform alone is very relieving, and give, sharing with us your perspective on how better we should rise up to protect our environment is really very, uh, very energizing, and we we can never back uh, back down from uh, doing what we feel is right for the sake of our environment you know so in most cases when we have you're most welcome cream alone um in most cases when we share perspectives when we share stories experiences it, it helps other grassroots human rights defenders who are about to give up you know from doing the right thing to from doing the work to continue doing their work and to never back down so that is really a very positive guest that you have shown and we really want to emulate we can't wait to see you walk down to karamoja as you have been walking past kenya past so 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 sudan to, to plant share trees so that is the same cause we feel we will also join in with you and we we we, we protect our ecosystems together and then to tamale thank you so much for everything that you're doing to protect freedom of expression civil and political rights in northern uganda you are a star women human rights defender we having her back like this is is a plus you know uh, it makes the rest of us feel that um, a sense of there's a sense of belonging uh, to the human rights defenders uh, fraternity and with that we will be in position to push back some of the challenges that comes with our civic space and the rest yeah and um um boniface uh, of karamoja go green let's continue to uh, you know uh tie the the knot together to fight for a just cause for our environment otherwise i thank you so much uh, dear members the person who has joined is our is one of our board uh, member i think he should should wave and this time round i i request that he turn on his camera so that he can see you mr krinima alone is our board uh, member and uh, it is really a pleasure seeing you join uh, the rest of the members on this platform although we were winding up you're welcome you can say hi to members and you close the meeting thank you Thank you very much for announcement. And I thank you everyone. Sorry, I just chipped in in the last minute something that called me back a little. But I'm very happy for the discussions. I'm sure I'll follow up from the recording that I see while I was joining. I got a, a pick for content that recording is in process. So I accepted and then I believe I will get the recording and follow up the discussions in there. Ram Afi and I <coughs> encourage us all to all our hands together as we strive forward to our common goal that we are looking to achieving. All right. I, I also gave you the honor to close the meeting then we will do a group photo you don't know how it does how it goes but it's a magic so <laughs> it's a magic uh, group photo um all right let's turn on our video so we can close uh, uh we take a group photo and then we close this um uh this session if you feel if you feel free comfortable appearing in the video it's well but if you don't it's also okay yeah okay we are going to do it in a count of one two hello hey who is not uh-huh we are going to do it in a count of one two three thank you so much you will have your um your uh oh
right thank you thank you everyone bye bye All right, bye Donaldson and bye the team. Be blessed all. Thank you so much members. Uh, we continue to engage further. Thank you. Hello. Are you here, Charles? Hi. Yes. Uh, my my yeah, data game. <laughs> okay, no worries. I recorded the video, so I will send it to you. You can you can make me the us now. Okay, we'll do. Okay, now you are a host. Okay, let me end. Thank you. You will share okay. with me those recordings. Yes, we'll do. All right. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.